Hello YouTube, uh, good morning and welcome to the channel again. Today's drawing is poison. I thought of a lot of different things for this one because I like I like the word poison, it's funny in it, like there's a lot of things that you can think of. So I thought of, initially I thought of the Tom Waits song, Little Drop of Poison, and then I thought how do you depict that? And it was used in, I think it was Shrek 2, <laughs> there was a pianist and I think he, I think he was a pirate because I seem to remember him having a hook for a hand and he played piano with just a hook and I thought how's he playing like a, a full Tom Waits song with just one digit uh -huh. DreamWorks and the rest of the team at Shrek uh, cut yourselves on and think on because I don't think that Tom Waits uses one finger with his right hand in that song because it's a brilliant song. So that's what I thought of initially and then I thought well I'm not going to do that am I because DreamWorks did it, don't need to do that. Um, and then I thought of like the phrase what's your poison, what drink do you like, you know go to a bar what drink do you like and I'm thinking yeah I could do that and then I thought it's a bit serious like the, the way I was going to draw it was a bloke, like, lying on a bar, comatose, drinking too much, and being poisoned by his poison. I oh, thought, that's a bit dark, a bit, a bit serious for what I'm trying to do. So, I thought, no, I won't do that. And what I came up with was this, which is a witch, October, Halloween. Mm -hmm. A witch mixing up some poison, a batch of poison, and she's got a little cat, and here it is. So this is my drawing for poison. Now, it, unfortunately, it is a witch, and for anyone else who's following Inktober, you'll know that nearly everyone has done a witch, and nearly, ev nearly everyone will do another witch. I don't know why that is, I think it's the Halloween countdown or whatever. So, I'm sorry about that, it's another witch, but um, hopefully it's good enough for you connoisseurs of inquiry. Um, yeah, so this, this witch is, uh, she's called Sharon. Um, she's got hairy warts on her nose and on her head and some nice little freckles. It, it's weird because she's still quite pretty even though she's got a big wart on her nose and scraggly hair. She's alright isn't she? For a cartoon, you know, a bit Judy Jetson. Um, yeah, so I tried to make her a bit of a bigger frame as well. Because you see loads of them online that are just sexy little manga witches, and I'm not interested in that. I don't, you know, I don't want mine to look like any other style. I just want to try and do my own thing. Um, <coughs> yeah, all the links for brushes and stuff are down below but I'm not I'm I've, I can't be bothered talking about what pens and stuff I'm using anymore because I watched the first two videos I've done back and thought god it's boring isn't it about pens like who, who cares who gives a shit about what pen you're using if you want to know what pens I'm using I'll just link them below and that's it you know just go there you don't have to listen to me talk about it Shush your face, man! What is it this? Is it that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I always find a, 
they're poisoning quite an interesting story in the news. Like, obviously, in real life, it shouldn't be happening. James Bond films, sure, fine, but in real life, like, that's how you're going to kill someone. Like, murdering someone in any form is is not good. But poisoning, probably the cruelest way to do it. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to put this uh, radioactive material within your body um, and let you suffer for the next foreseeable future until you're dead. Like, suffer really painfully. Yeah. So, poisonings that I... Poisonings that I know about or can remember. Let's say top three poisonings. Probably number three is the poisoning of South Korea's Kim Jong Un, is it? The the, the new leader, the, the young young blood. <laughs> he got it well, someone got his cousin or brother murdered, was it? With poison in an airport. Like stabbed him with poison like rice in or something like on breaking bad. Which is pretty dark. Like, yeah, sure, it can happen on Breaking Bad. That's fine. Because it's not real. But <laughs> South Korea's leader should not be getting people killed with poison. Anyway, so that's number three. Number two, probably Rasputin. But mainly because of the Boney M song, because it's quality. Um, and number one... I'd have thought Litvinenko, just because it was a, an amazing story, and uh, again, shouldn't have happened in real life, but fantastic story, like it made a great film, absolutely brilliant, he, he meets up with some KGB guys and some, some other guys, and potential that he's been poisoned with polonium mental and yeah the poor guy suffered for months with it and he, he looks terrible before he went like what a set of evil bastards and it turns out that it's the bloody Russian government it's unbelievable but still really cool So yeah, maybe this witch is doing that. Maybe she works for the KGB and um, she's mixing up some poison with her uh, communist cat there. And uh, is gonna ruin some lives. That's what she's planning on doing. Yeah, witches, witches don't get enough bad press these days. It's all cutesy and goodly, but back in the day they were getting penalised for doing horrible shit, like, if I was around when witches were, like, believed to be real, I'd have been all for it, like, yeah, burn the witch, burn her, she's, she's horrible, look at her, she's cooking up potions to murder people and put hexes on people, you know, stop being such a cow, chill out, enjoy yourself, be nice and people might like you. Yeah? Try being nice, Mrs. Witch. Instead of being a little poisonous bitch. Cats get on my nerves as well. Everyone loves cats. But they're nice. I, I, I've had cats and I really enjoyed having cats. But nine times out of ten they're tossers. Like, they're always scratching. Like, I went to the pet shop the other day and they've got one there. It's a really nice cat. But then you stroke it for a bit too long and it starts biting you. Like, hang on a minute. What are you biting me for, you little dick? Every, yeah. Like, th there's never a cat that's just laid back and lets you stroke it. always like oh yeah I'll scratch you or 
and cat scratches are the bloody worst. They're like paper cuts, but full of bacteria. <laughs> so yeah, they get uh, septic really quick and it hurts. My advice, yeah, from this video, if, you, if you've got one piece to take away, always disinfect a cat scratch. So there you go, don't tell anyone I don't give you all. Thanks again for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I've enjoyed making it, uh, I've got another one for tomorrow which is underwater, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a share and I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, you know, just click the subscribe button underneath, I'd love that. Thanks for coming and hope to see you again tomorrow.